Wind engineering, okay? This is, this is the, the critical thing about the uh, uh, tall buildings. And, and, and Les Robertson, you know, uh, did all this tremendous research back on the World Trade Center uh, about this issue, uh, working with the, um, at that time, the University of Western Ontario uh, on, on very seminal early, early work in wind tunnel studies. And what happens is as wind blows past an object, uh, it'll create these vortices. It, the, the wind will first go from one side and then the other. It's, it's caused by instability of the wake field. Um, um, on your right, you see this photograph of John Hancock, and you can see how, how there's a vortice, vortice occurring in the, wind, in, the, in the cloud as the cloud is, is rushing by the top of the tower. And what happens uh, as these happen, they, they happen in a rhythmic manner. And the rate that they happen is related to fluid mechanics and there's something called a Struhall number. And, but basically, the faster the wind speed is, the faster they are. The wider the object, the slower they are. These are generally linear, linear functions. And, and